So it says start with a quick table. So I think this is a spreadsheet app. Oh, editing edit box for column name. Hi everybody and in this video we'll be looking at the table notes so what I'll do is I will cut the video and okay so as I said in this video we'll be looking at the table notes so, hang on okay then so the table notes is actually where you can create your new databases it is actually database related and it's actually got quite a lot of permissions and it has actually got the preset window sizes okay so first things first Sadly, we're coming to the end of our database series. So the database series was actually meant for students who are, you know, in colleges and studying. So, yeah, actually going in colleges and studying databases. Because I remember when I was studying databases for my uh, IT level two course or my IT course. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so um, I remember when I was doing my IT course, I actually had to do databases, and I actually dreaded switching to a Windows 10 computer. So I can do the database course because I really do love using my Chromebook and I think Chromebook lovers all agree with me that if you are faced with a Windows computer or you know possibility of going back to a Windows computer you know it's sort of like a dread and you really don't want to do it if you can avoid it because I remember I was actually given a college computer or it was a laptop but I didn't really use it because also the Chromebooks actually have very good battery life and I think phenomenal phenomenal battery life <laughs> excuse my pronunciation yeah phenomenal battery life in comparison to Windows PCs so I didn't really want to use my Windows laptop uh, due to that and I didn't have to because I actually got around that by using one of the Windows desktops provided by the college you know when you have the computer on the desk so I was actually able to get around by round that rather by using the Windows desktop and a screen reader because I'm visually impaired by the way. But obviously even even so you know you don't really look forward to it. Alright then so it says start with a quick table. So I think this is a spreadsheet app rather than a database app or Microsoft Access app and we have actually done Microsoft Access apps because you can't really get Microsoft Access for Chromebook 
but you probably could if you won the Office 360. You do have to pay for Microsoft 360 though. Oh, actually. I think I've forgotten something to take it to the phone view. Sorry. Yeah, so I've put it on the tablet view, so sorry that it was on the phone view. Yeah, you do have to pay for Microsoft 360 and I'm not willing to pay for Microsoft 360 and I think it does come with some Chromebooks as well but again I'm not willing to pay for that okay so it says start with a quick table oh you need to click on the unlabeled button next to it. You've got two unlabeled buttons. And so using the arrow keys and the tab keys. It is actually very hard to reach the buttons. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's actually very hard to reach the buttons. Oh, create home screen widget for quick entry, which is pretty interesting. I do hope also that the picture is good on this video. Okay, so you do get some buttons. and they are unlabeled but I think they are image icons so the screen reader doesn't say anything oh add column so I don't know what these buttons were doing there and I don't know why you've got one there Let's click on something. Oh. Text column. You keep having text column, text column, text column. Oh, checkbox. Why it's got loads of text columns, I'm not too sure. Oh, editing edit box for column name. Oh, actually, let's put demo. Demo. Oh, add row. Oh, change layout of columns. Column one. Column three. Column four. Column five. Oh, okay. Column eight. And column one. Column seven. Column six. This actually is pretty hard to use, I must admit. Formula column there. Ooh. You do get lots of options, don't get me wrong. Column four. Column. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. okay. All right. Then. 
Seven. Column seven. Column five. Hmm. Column seven. Column six. I don't know what the notes section is all about. Let's have a look in the adwo. Oh, publishers website. Settings. Row height. Grab header. New bow on top or bottom. Text size. Wow. So there's not really a lot to this column, then the, you know, from what we've, then what we've seen. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to conclude this video. So, in conclusion, the Table Notes app is actually very hard to use. There are loads of unlabeled buttons, and again, they really do need to be labeled. I do think that this app has a lot of potential, don't get me wrong. You do have lots of options, and you do have the feature to publish to a website, which is actually very interesting. But again, the unlabeled buttons really do make it hard to use. And actually, I think that is my biggest problem with the app. Because the unlabeled buttons make it hard to use, we are unable to do a lot more with this app. I don't think it will be good for colleague situations if you wanted to use it as like your database app or a filling for Microsoft Access because you haven't got the date and time option. You do have date and time but there's this thing called date and time which is you know basically all in one that Microsoft Access has and also a lot of database apps have the date and time option even though they're built for for mobile devices rather and even though they're not Microsoft products so if you want a database app which is good for college and has the the date and time function plus all the features that colleges will require I will recommend the Memento database and there is also Porter database as well we did have a look at mobile DB in a previous video and I think in a few videos but I'm not too sure whether those videos are on the channel or not because at the time I had a bad screen but again in a previous video I did have a look at the mobile DB and that is a good app which I think would be good in colleague situations but again there are some features of that app or to the app rather that make it hard to use so yeah that is that okay well i hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful to say the least thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and I